Hi, my name is Brooke Rollerson with Revelation Design here in Amelia Island. I'm coming to you with tips on how to make your Christmas tree absolutely spectacular for the holidays. I know it's one of the most frustrating things when you have to do it yourself and you're trying to figure out how you can make that tree absolutely spectacular and beautiful just to impress all of your guests and your neighbors that are coming over and to make a beautiful centerpiece for your family to gather around Christmas morning. So I'm going to give you some tips on what I do in my shop here in Amelia Island and how I decorate my 20 trees here for the holidays. We have a over 5,000 square foot warehouse that we put up beautiful themed trees and one of the most common questions every customer asks is how do you make that tree look like that? either the artificial stems that we place in there, the lighting that we add, or how we place our ornaments on the tree will all make a difference in how you decorate your tree. So I'm going to give you a couple tips. Some of the tips are in previous videos, so make sure you see all of the videos on how to add the stems in there, what I've already done in this tree, how I've added the lights also in another video, and now I'm gonna show you how to add ball garlands, which are really easy and fun and really foolproof. So one of the things about ball garlands is they already come with different size and textures and finishes to each one of the, the garlands. And they're usually anywhere from four to six foot pieces. This one I'm gonna use for a nine foot tree because it has some of the larger ornaments on here, the larger um, balls that a lot of people really kind of neglect. They don't put the larger style ornaments on there. They start with small ones and then they use the small ones throughout the tree. And that's really a mistake that a lot of people make. So I'm gonna show you why it makes a big difference. So using the garlands like this, it's really easy to start at the top of the tree and move your way down. But this is not my primary decor because I've got some beautiful sentimental ornaments that I wanna put on my tree. So I don't want to take up that prime real estate with the tips of the tree um, with the ball garland. I want this to be tucked in so it's gonna give me a beautiful contrast between what I place on the outside of the tree and what I put on the inside of the tree and it's gonna fill in pretty easily in this artificial tree. Now I'm gonna use a pattern, which is one of our principles and elements of design that you've heard me talk about in other videos, and that is going a spiral pattern around the tree. Now as I place this into the tree, I'm gonna lift up the branches and just pinch that garland straight in there. Now I'm moving that wire of the bar, ball garland as far into the tree as possible, touching this uh, wire on the garland to the trunk of the tree. And this gives me a beautiful spiral effect going around the tree. Now you can see I still have the tips to the artificial tree available and I can move all of these um, ornaments that are attached to the garland further into the tree without messing up the style or the design. And all it's doing is giving me beautiful um, texture and color that it's um, giving that contrast between the large ones and the small one, the shiny ones and the matte ones. And it's making more of that beautiful designer tree for you. Now, this one I started at the top and then I moved my way down to that spiral pattern a little bit over here on this side. And then what I'm gonna do, instead of going all the way around the tree, because this tree is gonna be backed into a corner, there's no point decorating the back side of the tree, I'm gonna start at the back side and go around to the front, just like if that ball garland continued going around the tree. So many times people feel like they need to wrap the tree continuously, and that's not always the truth. You can actually start halfway to the back side of it, and I'm just gonna take the end of that ball garland and hook it onto one of the branches. And I'm not using any fasteners. I'm using what the tree has, which is wired branches. And I'm just gonna tuck it in like this, continuing that spiral pattern. Now it's important that you pull the trunk of the tree further back and then move it in to give you that spiral pattern. All right, once you've placed your ball garland in there and you start to uh, kind of manipulate that, kind of push it towards the center of the tree, you'll see sometimes like when you get to the end, there's like this exposed wiring and that's really easy to fix. All you're going to do is press that, fold it, like bend it into the tree and attach it to one of the branches, the artificial branches in there. And then when you have all of these loose um, uh, ornaments connected to the wire on the outside, just push those in 
and cover up that wire so that you don't see all of the wires. You want it to look like it's a really natural looking cluster of, of ornaments in the inside of the tree. So you can kind of push that in there and, um, and have those attached. All right, I'm gonna start with another one. And again, what I'm doing is just trying to make sure that the, you can see the pattern looks like it's wrapping around the tree. I'm gonna start a little bit further down so it's not such a predictable pattern. A lot of people wanna just do like three inches, next start, three inches, next start. Really what gives you that beautiful, more natural flowing feel is when you're spontaneous with your placements. You're not just, you know, predicting exactly where that placement's going to be. So what I'm gonna do is uh, lift up on the center of the tree and I'm gonna start um, in, in the middle right here. So it looks like it's starting like wrapping through the tree. And then I'm gonna move down a little bit more. pushing that in and then on this other side pushing it in again and with the ball garland you can kind of see how they're all wired so they're coming out and moving in and the movement is really good so that you don't have the exact um, placement and you don't have to worry about exactly where they are so I'm going to do one more of the ball garlands and I'm gonna start a little bit further back and just make it look like it's gonna wrap around and go a little bit further down. Lifting up the artificial branch, pushing it into the tree, lifting up the branch again and pushing it into the tree so that it's going in and out of the tree. Now this is really important that you don't decorate the outside of your trees. When you decorate the outside of your trees, it looks like all of your ornaments are hanging on the outside of the tree. So all you see is this beautiful tree form and then all of the ornaments are hanging out. For instance, when I hang an ornament on the tree and I hang it like this, if it's not tucked into the tree, they all hang out at an angle. This is huge to make sure that your tree looks beautiful and really a designer tree, you wanna tuck in the ornaments. Now, this is a shatterproof garland that I've used here and all of the other um, filler ornaments I'm gonna use are also shatterproof. So I'm gonna start with some larger ornaments. This is super important when you have a larger tree that you don't have all the same size ornament. I know a lot of our sentimental ornaments are really kind of similar size, two to three inches. But you really wanna have a lot of different types of ornaments. The shatterproof are great to kind of tuck in there. Half the time I don't even attach them to the, the tree. I'll just lift up a branch and push them in and they stay right where they are. I'm gonna start with a larger one like this one here. The larger ones are gonna to go to the bottom of the tree and again, given my tree a lot of depth and texture, I'm going to push this ornament in. It doesn't have to be hanging or positioned straight up and down. It could be angled a little bit more so you see the tip of the ornament. Uh, whatever you would like. That gives you the striped pattern here. If I see the, the bottom of the ornament, I get a different motion, a different direction than straight up and down. So everything is not like this. So again, moving towards the bottom of the tree and then pushing those in. If you feel like you need to secure them, you can easily take one of the artificial tree branches towards the inside of the tree and attach it to the top of the ornament um, just by looping that through the ornament hanger and then making sure that that doesn't pop out. And here's my last large gold ornament. And I'm just gonna pick up the, towards the bottom of the tree, I'm gonna pick up some of those branches and push that in and it's perfectly fine to kind of overlap with the bar garland and the larger gold ornament just so you can see the depth that you get with this tree. Then I'm going to go to another size ornament. This is a totally different finish. This is kind of like a, a shatterproof um, mercury glass ornament. And again, doing the same thing because these are not my prized possession ornaments. These are plastic ornaments. I just want to make it look like it's a very full tree. So I'm going to pick up those artificial branches and find a artificial stem to bend through that. And again, I'm pushing that ornament into the tree. 
Now some of these, because I've got the same size here, the same size here, this is just two different finishes, I'm gonna rotate that to make sure that I don't have, um, again, this predictable pattern throughout my tree. So maybe right here where I have the mercury glass finish tucked into the tree, I'm gonna go with more of this pearl gold finish right next to it, but a little bit further down. And so you can see that the angle from here to here is giving you a difference in contrast, a different in finishes, but you really have that depth with you um, are placing some of these ornaments a little bit further in and rotating their, their placement. Again, not predictable that I'm gonna put a smaller ornament next to a larger ornament towards the bottom of the tree. You can kind of see how that gives you that beautiful depth to it. And I'm gonna continue to kind of place those ornaments around my tree. Again, most important that you do not hang these on the outside of your tree. These are ornaments that are filling in your tree and giving your sentimental ornaments a lot of that backdrop that you need to really show those off. Especially some of your really expensive collector items, um, ornaments. This is really important for you to have um, a really beautiful backing to that. So when you put in the other, the contrasting color ornaments, say your theme is the red and gold, and then you have, you save all of these beautiful tips to your artificial tree to hang your ornaments on, those really de uh, delicately get placed and actually become the feature of your tree, not your plastic filler ornaments. Now the previous videos that we did, you can kind of see the um, effect of the additional lights in this artificial tree, the stems that we added to that, that really makes a huge difference. So if you miss those videos, make sure you go back and watch those on how to decorate your tree. These are all questions that I get throughout the holidays from all of our customers. And I think it's best when you're at home and you're enjoying your uh, Thanksgiving break, or even uh, if you decorate a little later in the uh, season, that you have all of these tips to go back to uh, when we are taking our break as well with our families. So watch the videos as much as you would like. And don't forget to subscribe. You never know when we're gonna have time to produce more videos and help you make your tree absolutely spectacular and to make your holidays much easier than uh, you think it's going to be to decorate that tree. I know this is a task that a lot of people are kind of torn whether they're gonna do or not do. We do decorate a lot of Christmas trees throughout the holidays. All of our customers have us come out, either put the ribbon on or do the ornaments or do the whole thing, the whole house inside and out. So it's up to you how involved you want to be in with decorating uh, for the holidays. But we're here to help you and I hope this video helps you have an easier uh, time decorating your Christmas tree so that you can enjoy those holidays. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.